yo you people that are always encouraging people to come to Accra you haven't been to Ghana if you haven't come to Accra Accra is lit Accra is this Accra is that you didn't want to tell me that Accra is expensive cheers what's good my winners how are you doing let me know in the comment section below how are you feeling today right now I'm feeling happy I'm still in Ghana the weather's hot nice and sunny and my mood is like all the way up here I am a little bit sad deep down inside though because your girl's gonna be coming back to a miserable UK tomorrow however I thought that seeing as this is basically gonna be my last GH vlog in a while ish why don't i just sit down with y'all and talk to you about the 11 things that i've learned about accra during my trip i've got a whole load of notes on this phone that i'm gonna go through with y'all but wait before i get to the points though please i beg if you haven't already hit the subscribe button please make sure that you hit it and the bell icon so that you're notified every single time that i upload join the winning family over here all we do is win 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 no matter what and that's okay i'm gonna sit down here i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait for you to hit that subscribe button okay you done it okay cool so my first point is everyone that i've met here has actually been exceptionally friendly as in the way that everybody is so friendly has been mind-blowing. Even when the staff members were feeling stressed out at the airport because certain things weren't going right and a lot of angry customers were there, everyone was still so friendly. It, it like, it's, it's so different because when you're coming from a place where sometimes people can be quite rude and then you're now in an atmosphere where everyone is like, just so lovely, it means a lot. My second point is, Accra is full of bars and clubs and I personally believe here that Accra is heavily catered to tourists and those from the diaspora. Now, obviously there's pros and cons to that. For example, if you like to party, you like to turn up, you like to get lit, I think you'd love Accra because there's just so many bars, so many clubs, so many different ways for you to really live your best life and enjoy your nightlife over here as well however don't get me wrong there's other things for you to do if you're like myself and you don't like to turn up and i'll get into that later on later on also when i say that accra kind of caters to tourists and those from the diaspora i what i mean by that is i personally feel like although i've had a great time on this trip don't get me wrong i've had a really good time out here you don't get an authentic GH feel when you're in Accra and you're based by where all the bars and the clubs are and all of that. As somebody that spent a lot of time in Kumasi normally when I'm here, for me, I feel like when I'm in Kumasi, I have an authentic, yeah, I'm in Ghana feel. The third point is that there's a nice variety of ways for you to get around here. So, you can get around here using something called a trotro, which is basically a local bus. And it's actually the most cheapest way that you can get around here. I actually didn't use the Chotra when I was here. However, normally when I'm in Kumasi, I do like to use a mixture of taxis and Chotras to get about. You can also use a local taxi as well. And I think the benefits with using a local taxi is you can kind of negotiate the price that you want to pay for your journeys. However, that being said, local taxis are a little bit more expensive compared to Uber and Bolt, which you can also use here. And I was predominantly using Ubers here because I just found Ubers to be very reasonably priced. I liked being able to like see things like my driver arriving or like you know the little animation of how long left you've got to your journey little things like that Ubers, Bolts, very easy accessible over here I had no issues using them here whatsoever My fourth point is yo you people that are always encouraging people to come to Accra you haven't been to Ghana if you haven't come to Accra Accra is lit, Accra is this, Accra is that you didn't want to tell me that Accra is expensive. Accra is expensive. Literally, things that in Kumasi I would pay like five cities for, I was paying 20, 25 cities for. The price difference is crazy. I feel like here in Accra you breathe and your money is gone. If you're coming to Accra, I would say have money. You gotta have money because literally everything that you're doing is going to cost a lot more than it would do if you were staying somewhere else in Ghana. 
my fifth point is if you're somebody that likes to explore try to do one or two tours outside of Accra to get a truer feel of Ghana so yo you people that kind of come to Accra and you're here for like five weeks straight and all you're doing is partying and turning up yo each to their own if that's the trip that you want I'm not judging you however I do think it's a bit of a shame to come to Accra and not even do at least one trip outside of Accra like you're really really missing out for me personally the two trips that i did is i went to a brie gardens which is in the eastern region of ghana and i also went to cape coast as well and i feel like those experiences gave me a different perspective to ghana my sixth point is that accra caters to those with various dietary requirements it's Especially if you're a vegan, then I have great news for you. There are so many vegan options out here. I had the pleasure of trying out two vegan restaurants. So one was called Asasipa Restaurant. And that food that I had there was absolutely sensational sensational it tasted so flavorsome and the second restaurant that i tried was a vegan restaurant called tatel i believe i'm probably pronouncing it incorrectly but i will put the name here the food was really flavorsome i ordered yam and agusi and it was really good my seventh point is the men here are very very forward here is not the only place that you will have men approaching you all the time especially if you're a solo traveling woman and i would be lying on camera if i said that i don't normally have men approaching me no matter where i travel to however i definitely would say that accra has got to be the worst place that i've experienced this like the cat calling the hissing the men trying to like touch you i mean we're going through a pandemic why are you trying to touch me i've had guys trying to like grab me you know just to get my attention the body beach was absolutely horrific for me where i had a guy just sit at my table and not move for 10 minutes i had guys coming up to me asking me why am i sat alone i had a guy trying to approach me or like for his friend it's just non-stop there's lots of market stores and various shops around so you can literally get anything with ease i think that's very self-explanatory where i was staying in osu there's lots of market stores there was shop right makala market as well is um not too far away if you don't know what makala market is it's basically a very big market here in accra where they sell a variety of things from like spices to food to like clothing to bees you can find it there and it's very easily accessible for you to go to my ninth point is people can be very persistent when they want you to buy from them and you may at times feel forced to make a purchase over here you have to be very sharp you have to be very brutal no i don't want it thank you walk off don't feel forced don't feel pressurized but the main thing is don't be rude no matter what you do please do not be rude my tenth point is to get a local sim is actually not easy so when i was here and i that i've been asking people a lot of people were like oh you can use your ghana passport to just get a local sim card it's very easy no it's not they now have a rule here that for you to get a sim card you have to have a ghana id I don't have a Ghana ID or don't have a Ghana passport apparently that's not enough you need an actual ID card so luckily for me the taxi driver that brought me to my Airbnb when I landed he actually hooked me up with a sim card and he used his ID to get that for me so I'm hoping that I'll be able to keep that sim card active especially as I'm trying to be here more often but even if that sim card somehow dies normally when I'm in Ghana I normally get my older brother to get me a sim anyway so just keep that in mind that you know maybe if you're here and you need a local sim the only thing you can do is get somebody that you know to hook you up with a sim card but you yourself may not be able to get one my 11th point is that listen yeah people go on like if you're coming to a crowd then you haven't come to a crowd you haven't enjoyed unless you've gone to bars you've gone to clubs you've got drunk every night you've got lit every night that's a lie I am not a turn up person, I literally just wanted to come to do a lot of like sightseeing, to explore etc etc and even though I didn't go to the bars, I didn't turn up, I've had a really good memorable time so I'm here to say with my level of point, your trip to Accra can be wherever you want it to be if you want to get lit and you want to party every single night, you can do that if you want, just want to relax, 
you can do that. If you want to spend some days here in Accra and other days like touring other parts of Ghana, you can do that. Don't feel like you need to be pressurized to have your holiday to be like how everyone else's holiday is. Any holiday that you go to anywhere in the world is whatever that you want it to be and being in Accra is exactly the same you could do what you want to do or you don't have to do what you don't want to do so yeah i really hope that you enjoyed my points if there's anything that i missed you know let me know in the comment section if you've already come to accra before maybe you live here in accra what points would you add you know let me know let's just let's talk and if you just haven't been here whatsoever let me know how you found this video but yo i hope you've enjoyed all of my ghana vlogs all of my content from ghana i believe this is going to be my last gh video in a while and yeah thank you so much for watching this video until my next one take care be good